Life as We Know It with Tom Walton. Most veteran politicians share a common skill that serves them, if not necessarily the rest of us, well. They can say a lot while saying nothing. It's political doublespeak. Asked to comment about a foreign trade bill, a congressman might say, well, this is a complex issue and one which will require a lot of study. Make no mistake, trade is important. Okay, Congressman, but where do you stand? You didn't really say. What about immigration, Congressman? What sort of policy do you embrace regarding the entry of aliens to this country? Well, this is a complex issue and one which will require a lot of study. Make no mistake, immigration is important. And so on and so forth. Forgive me if I sound like Richard Nixon. It's a sort of bland, I'll get back to you approach that turns so many Americans off. Here in Ohio's 9th and 5th congressional districts, most of us, it appears, are fine with the public service of Marcy Kaptur and Bob Latta. But collectively, we are not nearly as pleased with the performance of Congress as a whole. It's much the same across the country. People tend to like their congressman or congresswoman, but dislike a group they see as overpaid and underperforming. And what about the executive branch? If Ronald Reagan was considered the great communicator, Barack Obama is the great articulator. Few presidents have been as well-spoken as Mr. Obama, but at the end of one of his soliloquies, what has he really said? Into all of that steps a political candidate who can only be described as the anti-politician, Donald Trump, a.k.a. the Donald. Ask Mr. Trump what he thinks about immigration, and he doesn't mince words. He wants to build a wall along our border with Mexico, and he intends to make Mexico pay for it. How's that for in-your-face politics? Never mind that Mexico scoffs at the notion of paying for its own isolation. Never mind the impracticality and the unaffordability of such a massive undertaking by American taxpayers. It's about as doable as Bernie Sanders' pledge of a college education for all. But you know what? It doesn't matter. Every time Mr. Trump makes yet another outrageous statement, every time he finds a new group to insult, he seems to get more popular. His candor and unfiltered opinions seem to resonate. So why would he dial it back? Why would he want to moderate his excesses during the upcoming presidential campaign against Hillary Clinton? Fact is, folks, we're just getting started. Mr. Trump calls Mrs. Clinton crooked Hillary. Mrs. Clinton calls Mr. Trump a fraud and temperamentally unsuited to be president. And the two parties' conventions are upon us. So brace yourselves. This will be a campaign like no other in modern times. A business tycoon with a bombastic personality and no public service experience versus a veteran public servant who bears the scars, some of them self-inflicted, of many years in the political trenches. If nothing else, we know this. It will be hugely entertaining. Life as We Know It is written and hosted by Tom Walton and is a production of WGTE Public Media. Life as We Know It with Tom Walton can be heard on WGTE FM 91 every Monday afternoon during All Things Considered at 544 p.m. Or hear past episodes at wgte.org slash life.